case building project. Let me apologise that it's been about 10 days since the last time I posted anything on this channel. I've just been so ill to so many things going on in my household. You know, what with my wife, my child, my you know, new addition as a kitten. I'm just absolutely drained most of the time. But I have been doing my due diligence and I've been working on our carrier. As you see, it's not fully assembled yet, but the vast majority of her is now done. You know, she is looking fine. You know, look at that lady. She is, isn't she beautiful? Alright guys, remember to hit that subscribe button, smash that like button, tap that notification bell, leave us that nice comment below guys as we go into the video. Alright, now to basically show you uh, what's been going on. Um, oh yeah, I need to get back into a terminal first to be able to do this. There we go, back in the terminal. Go into our control panel. Now, the control panel basically shows there is nothing left in the projection left to build. So we're now going to have to go into the build and repair. So um oh thought I was in that mode. Sorry, my mistake. Okay, so we've got build and repair systems. We want <coughs> we want the I think it's four, five, and six are the ones that are showing us what we've got left in terms of components. So we need like large steel tubes, we need reactor components. Um and then we want the same with the port arm as well. So if I can find it, just check all of these just to make sure that we haven't got anything outstanding. Because four, five, and six are like the the very front of the ship and the very back of the ship. So the the, the bow and the stern of the ship. So we're talking about like the last mm, ten blocks or so. So. I mean, we could go through every single one, making sure that every single uh, build and repair has everything covered. But I believe it has. Um, let's just do that anyway. There you go. Nothing there. All right, guys. So we've seen that we need to get some more um, components for reactors. So I think that's going to mean we are going to just have to just mine out um, some stone because it is the all being processed for use um, for things like the precious materials like gold, uh, silver, and you know platinum, all that sort of stuff. Even though I've been mining that at the same time. So, let's make our way to the Morning Star. Uh, for that, we've got multiple avenues. I don't know if you noticed down at the bottom, it says O2 High and Warm. That's because of the fact I finally also got the um, station um, sorted out in terms of this corridor to be able to have oxygen feed it. Um, oh. Sorry, cat's playing with my speaker cable, wanting my attention even more. Okay, so let's make our way out here. I will eventually get around to doing the gravity generators. There we go. There's the Morning Star in all her beauty, all glory. You know, yeah, she's battered, she's bruised, she's been through the wars. She is one hell of a ship.
Right, finally got to the bridge. Okay. Let's see, turn off the refinery. Turn on the engines. Uh, batteries were already in auto. We'll untether. And let's leave dock. Oh, come on. Make it smooth, make it smooth. There we go, thank you. Alright, now what have we got around us that we could use? Our nearest rock is to our left. It's amazing something this big can actually turn so easily. All we'll do is we'll just get a full hold of stone and we'll get tens of thousands of um, reactors on the go. Alright, there we go, we've made contact. I mean, yeah, we could have gone for one of the ones over there, you know, the silver and the gold and all that, but... that rock like butter. Hot my fruit butter. Leaving a lovely surface there. We could use for something later on. I'm thinking base defense. Because eventually we might have like those um, those new guys. Uh, what do they call themselves? The Factorium come after us. So might be an idea to be be ready. wall there's our way in I'll get back to you guys as soon as I'm docked okay so we're now back in the star base and just docking up now. Turn off the engines. We don't want to turn off the batteries right now until everything's been pulled out of the hold and processed. Uh, from here, we'll just keep an eye on things. But let's head around to the tail end and keep an eye on how the engines are being. Oop. Too close, a little too close. 
know that most of them are done. It's just really these reactor components that are the the issue now. So. Hopefully, that will quickly resolve any of our other issues. So we go back to the build and repair systems. Was it uh, a starboard arm? Yeah, just 637 reactor components, it's saying. So I probably have overkilled it. But at least then we got it, got them all ready for the future. So it's processing them now. We've got the gravel. It is difficult. To even, one way or another, you, you've still got a problem. If you use a mod like the gravel sifters, then you'll run out of gravel. If you use the vanilla stuff, then you're most going to have gravel to deal with. And it's like, what do you do with the rest? It's, there's no easy way out. There never will be. So, all we can do is... Is the word mitigate, I think? It's, is that the right word? Mitigate this, this situation? Yeah, but we control it you know, as best as we can. I'm now wondering about those bottom... There's bottom three. Uh, it doesn't look like they're actually... Huh? Oops, wrong end. I was saying that. Let's get... All of the arms. We'll show the area for it. Oh, brilliant. Okay. Um, right. I think it's going to be a case of just just gonna have to play with this a little to be able to get this um, everything covered again so yeah so minus 42 seems to be a good number so then we've got this side we need to adjust To add some more building repairs for that side. That's all engulfed. Right. I think this is going to be a case of now just to make sure that we've covered everything. Slowly but surely, turning these off until we find the ones that we're we're working on, which I'm sure is four, five, and six. I'm I'm, actually, I'm just going to jump to it. Let's turn them all off. Uh, so, oh, let's go seven. And then one, two, and three. Seven there. Hmm. 
that hasn't done everything. So what I'm Said number seven, I think. I'm starboard seven. That's off. That's number six. So what's that doing in the middle then? That should be over here. Okay. So that'd be horizontal offset eight five. Minus eighty five, sorry. There we go. So we then take both of the sixes and move their foot offset to say twenty. I'm going to guess it's four and four. Based on the way that I built this, what should we do? Instead, do 50. I'm going, to, I'm going to change that to 50. Right, so that should. more than amply cover the back end so now we can now check through and see what we need to finish the build remaining items Large steel tubes. So we need about a thousand large steel tubes. Hopefully that will finish that off for us now. Ah, oh, there we go. So let's turn off these while that's finishing off for us. And... Hopefully... That'll mean that we can also. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. So now all that's done. I've been wanting to look at this actually. Um, let's go info. <laughs> that's insane. When I was building the oh hold on I'm on the morning star that does not that's not a good one sorry the morning star is deemed as a separate unit so we need to get to somewhere where we can identify whoops the combined star base and 
um, Jehovah class carrier uh, combine physical shapes. So, I think, yeah. Oh, listen to that channel, away. Eh? Isn't that a wonderful sound? Unless you've got a headache, of course, and then it's absolutely mind numbing. Right, there we go. Oh, whoa! Check that out! One physical shape shy of our physics limit. I mean, wow, guys. I mean, <laughs> talk about cutting it close, huh? I do. Alright. So, this is the day then that we can set the carrier free. Alright. Oh, come on. Don't do it to me now. Got a nice light show coming from it, though. It's probably having problems now. Uh, now that I've decided to separate it, it's probably going, Oh, no. I've now got to calculate them as two separate entities. What am I going to do? Come on. Oh, that looks promising. Uh, hey. Alright, so there we go, ladies and gentlemen. It is its own separate entity. The umbilical has been cut. The carrier is off of it, off, off of the life support. Talking of life support, I was checking this out. The way I've added in all of these hydroponic bays. Yeah, the viewports for the cabins. But it's part of the cabins. Yeah, peekaboo. Ah. The supports for the bridge. I mean, I forgot how much I love this design. <laughs> question is 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 the game going to allow me to do this or is it going to have a heart attack oh, your doors are closed sentry gun in the corridor captain on the bridge let's close that behind us so, as you can see here, we've got like a survival kit there as well. We've got guns there. Me and using shift, uh, I've got to turn off the, uh, the, the, the conveyor um, thing at some point. I mean, look at this. I mean, look at this. I mean, now in command. I mean... The amount of time we've spent literally hours working, you know, building this thing. And now we can actually look at this. Sort out the, the bridge controls. Because I never did actually do that on the original modern, uh, uh, the, not morning start, sorry, the, uh, the, on the Heaven's Gate project. I never did actually get around to sorting out all the bridge controls so let's see so let's add in our batteries so we want 
recharge on and off. group for jump drives uh, HGB warfare hangar door window that's the engineering bay so that be the uh, the doors that are just there hydrogen engines I'll have them in there Turned off on and off. Also, get in the uh, the doors. And that's just that's just all of that. Um, tanks, thrusters. Oh yeah, we need the thrusters in there. So, turn those blocks on and off. Not sure what that was all about. I have to get back to that one at some point. Okay, weapon blocks. Yeah, that that would be spectacular. Yeah, there are literally rockets all down the sides, so yeah, we can do it like a broadside attack with rockets. And I tell you what, I tried that once on this crippled my machine it was so funny it was unbelievable i mean but look look at that batteries are are all on there are you know, various stages of being complete there we go guys there's the engines on oh look at that our girl is alive oh that tail end now and she gorgeous then if we go to the other end oh me hitting the shift again it's going to decide to mess up slightly there we go we've got the reversing thrusters on the dorsal and ventral I mean she is ready to go okay let's go back to the bridge a second Go V. Uh, let's go I because she might. What the heck? There we go. Convert to ship mode. Look at that 41,786 physical shapes. Why aren't you moving? Why are you not moving at all? Come on, girl. What is wrong? Why have I still got access to all of that? Huh? 
Thrust is not doing anything. Right, I'm going to have to do a physical inspection. Because as far as I'm aware, there is nothing connecting the two together. Nothing there. The only tether was the one we created. I don't understand. Is it one of those log out, log in things? Hmm. It might well be. Alright, well I'm going to leave it here guys, I'm going to go do some investigation as to what's going on and I'll let you know in the next episode what actually has happened. Thank you guys for joining me for this episode and I'll catch you next time on Akangelus Gaming.